Hey, how you doing here? I am Todd. I'm a regular dude walking the world. As you can tell today, my shirt is green. It's kind of like a pickle, okay? And today, uh, I'm entitling this message here, Helping God Out of a Pickle. Okay, my shirt is green like a pickle. So, have you ever felt like, hmm, you know, God's got himself into kind of a pickle here. Maybe I need to help him out. Hopefully that hasn't happened to you, but uh, there has been times where I think each of us has been has felt like that. Like, oh no, uh, I'm in a real pickle, and God's really in a pickle here. Man, I need think I need to help him out. Okay, and that's what Abram and Sarah are guilty of here in this chapter. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so turn with me to Genesis 16. This is three ep or four episodes we're doing on chapter 16. We talked about the first episode, how Abram was operating out of outside of God's will. Yesterday, we talked about not trusting God. Abram was not trusting God through this whole situation. And today, we're talking about helping God out of a pickle. Let's read. Now, Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, but she had an Egyptian slave named Hagar. So she said to Abram, The Lord has kept me from having children. Go sleep with my slave. Perhaps I can build a family through her. Abram agreed to what Sarah said. So after Abram had been living in Canaan ten years, Sarah, his wife, took her Egyptian slave to Hagar and gave her to her husband to be his wife. He slept with Hagar and she conceived. Hmm. You know, um, do you know that scripture in the Bible that it says, um, it goes something like this. God helps those who help themselves. You know where that's found? Let me look. I got another book here. Maybe it's in this book. Huh. You know where it's found? God helps those who help themselves. And that's what Her Abraham and Sarah were thinking. Like, well, God always helps those who help themselves. That's not found in the Bible. It's actually found in, where is it here? In the 1736 edition of the Poor Richard's Almanac. Ben Franklin wrote it, wrote this. He said, God helps those who help themselves. He doesn't, or, yeah, okay, and that's what it says. God helps those who help themselves. This was Ben Franklin who wrote this in, in the, the Poor Richard's Almanac. The Poor Richard's Almanac is not the Bible, and so for those goofballs that say, oh yeah, God helps those who help themselves, that's not biblical at all, and it's, it, um, I've had people quote that to me, like, oh, yeah, it says that in the Bible. Uh, wrong. <laughs> it's not in the Bible. And you, you would think that's what they were reading here. They were like, oh, I wonder what Ben Franklin says about this. And they were um, not following God's will, and they were trying to help God out of a pickle here. Okay? So let's keep reading here. When she knew she was pregnant, she began to despise her mistress. Then Sarai said to Abram, you are responsible for the wrong I am suffering. I put my slave in your arms, and now that she knows she is pregnant, she despises me. May the Lord judge between you and me. Your slave is in your hands, Abram said. Do with her whatever you think is best. Then Sarai mistreated Hagar, so she fled from her. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert. It was the spring that is beside the road to Shur. And he said, Hagar, slave of Sarai, where have you come from and where are you going? And then the, uh, it continues on where the conversation goes between um, the angel of the Lord, which could be Jesus, okay? Um, it could be just an angel. I don't know for sure. That uh, the conversation goes on between them and how Ishmael will be blessed, okay? And then I'll, I'll close with verse 15, the last verse of the chapter here. So Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram gave the name Ishmael to the son she had born. And Abram was 86 years old when Hagar was born to Ishmael. So before this chapter, God had promised that um, it, uh, Abram would have descendants. And if you remember, um, it was like as much as um, the sand in the, the seashore and the, uh, the stars in the sky, that much uh, descendants. Okay. And he doesn't even have one. And he's like 86 years old now. Okay. And he's like, oh no, the Lord's got himself into the pickle by making this, this promise. Uh, let's help him. Let's help him out. Let me, uh, you know, my wife had a great idea of uh, the slave woman. 
uh, me sleeping with a slave woman and having a child through her. What a great idea. The world is doing that. So I, we might as well do it. And that wasn't God's plan. Okay. But they decided to make it God's plan. All right. And they were trying to help God out of a pickle. Does God need help out of a pickle? Not, not at all. He's the one who created the pickle. All right. And when they did that and tried to, to, to do it on their own and help God out, it turned out to be a disaster. Okay. And you know what? This is a disaster even up to this day. The, the descendants of Ishmael are the um, Arabs. Okay. And the Arabs are continually against the Jews and Jews against the Arabs to this very day. There's continuous um, war going on against each other uh, to this day. And it's all, it started here in chapter 16. All right. Amazing how when we try and help God out, out of a pickle, what disaster comes upon it. So uh, remember that today. Don't be that, that guy that decides they're going to try and help God out of a pickle. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we conclude chapter 16. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.